Hello my creative friends, I'm back in my little makeshift studio here and um, I was rummaging through my stuff which is still in storage in the garage nothing's pretty much been taken out apart from some of my art supplies that I put on the table and uh, I found this uh, magazine that you may remember from the vlog that I did from my Bali trip if you haven't seen it just and you want to get away at least mentally for a few minutes then I'll put a link to it right there on the screen for you so you can just um, come with me to Bali it's just so beautiful out there but anyway so I was at a news agent at the airport on the way to Bali and found this magazine called Daphne's Diary and I'd never heard of it before um, this is issue number eight so it's not that new but still quite recent and I picked it up because it's beautiful. It's just got amazing um, imagery in there and little cards you can cut out and um, just things like that which would be amazing in a collage. So I just went through it and this paper, most of the pages are made of paper that is quite matte and quite thin so it'll be perfect to cut and stick in a journal page for instance. And um, yeah, it's just got some really pretty um images in there and illustrations that are not necessarily my style usually because you know me i love bright colors but um i don't know i just felt compelled to buy it anyway because i knew that i could use some of these images here and um, if not the whole thing just pieces you know that you can stick in a background or or whatever you can make many things with it so um, I've decided to cut a few little pieces out of there and then I'm going to stick them onto this page here which is actually unfinished this one is a video tutorial that you'll find on my channel and if you're uh, viewing this video on my blog at mimibondi.com you just go in the list of mixed media tutorials you'll find the video for this one but this page is unfinished I just basically um, collected some paint from playing with a jelly plate and just from playing around I don't know at some point I'm not even not even sure when it was but anyway I've got these beautiful colors here so I'd better do something with this page right so I'm thinking well it's got some pinks oops sorry about the bump here um, it's got some pinks got some yellows so I'm sure I can find bits and pieces I could cut out from here to stick on there and make something pretty. So let's get started, shall we? Follow me along.
All right, guys, so that's uh, my little collage done. I've only put a little, you know, a few pieces, as you can see. I didn't want to cover all my beautiful colors and texture in the background here. So all I've got left to do for now is to dry this page and then I can move on to the next step. Okay, my page is nice and dry. So I'm going to add a little bit more paint now just with my fingers. You know my style by now and if you haven't tried finger painting then what are you waiting for? People, come on, try it out. <laughs> if you're just feeling a little bit unsure then I do have a book, remember, that I created especially for uh, beginners, although you don't have to be a beginner to follow the tutorials in there, but it's all everything step by step from start to finish to make you create beautiful paintings in very different styles and I do a lot of finger painting in there so you know if it's something that you're interested in having a go at and but you're not too sure then definitely check out the book it's called No Shenanigans and you can find it worldwide you can find it on Amazon you can find it on um, the book depository blah 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 the book depository uh, dot Com, I think it is or the co.uk I can't remember and of course on my website mimibondi.com so there's no excuses you can find it anywhere if you don't find it in your local books bookstore you can always order it and they'll get it in for you no worries so finger painting here I am finger painting and you'll notice that I chose a color that's quite neutral um, which is like a sort of off-white, very light, beigey, creamy color because I know that it's not going to distract too much from my images and my colors in the background here and I'm just using it to basically sort of blend in the um, collage pieces of paper here into the existing background. So I'm going to go a little bit over here and there just to unify the whole page. You'll notice I'm using my giant hair dryer, which is normally in my bathroom. But um, as I explained before, I'm you know just moved and all my stuff is everywhere. So I can't remember where I put my little purple hair dryer. So never mind. This is just the trick, but it's a bit bulky on my art table, I have to say. Okay, so I've got um, a little bit of uh, paint here that has unified the pieces together of paper and you know the paper in the background. And I'm going to continue adding a few colors here and there. So obviously some of it's going to get covered, but you know, it's okay. It's all for a good cause in the end. So I'm going to keep going with a little bit of pink as I already have some pink in there and I don't want to lose too much of it. And you know, we'll, I'll just keep going and we'll see how things turn out, right? going to add a bit more color but I want to um, something that contrasts a little bit without being too distracting so I'm gonna go for a light aqua sort of turquoise and repeat the process looking really pretty already I love it I just um, don't feel like covering it too much because it's already so lovely I mean I know I'm biased but <laughs> it's lovely I love it so what I'm thinking of doing is adding a little bit more interest on top but 
something that's not too heavy so I'm gonna look through a bunch of new stencils that I just got for my birthday yes I put myself a whole batch why not if you don't look after yourself then who will right so um, let's see what we've got in here a lot of them are by Tim Holtz and um, lots of little texture and so something like that could be nice um, because it's quite delicate and feminine at the same time just like the background or not that not that no or even that with the roses could be funky but the openings are a little bit larger so I might cover a little bit more of my background um let's see let's try both I guess we'll see what happens <clears throat> now Again, I'm going to keep the colors a little bit similar, but I do like how this sort of red, deep magenta is coming out in the background here. So I think I'm going to use that as my main color for the stencil. So I'm going to use a makeup sponge. You know the trick by now, I don't have to explain it to you, but I'm going to be lazy and put it directly on there. <clears throat> Not too much hardly anything here and then let's give this one a go I think that's going to look really pretty brand new stencil never used let's see what it looks like I'm just going to make it quite subtle yeah that's quite pretty I'm going to need to put it somewhere. I think it will work better on a not so busy background or background area actually. So what I'm going to do is use my baby wipe and remove it because it's, it wasn't as nice as I expected. Instead, I'm going to try this one in another section. But again, I'm not sure because my background's a little busy and this is a busy stencil. Or busy pattern as well so I'm gonna go here where it's a little bit more plain and see how that looks yes I like that texture that's pretty I'm gonna give you a close-up subtle but cool Let's add it a bit more. I'll go back. This is almost dry anyway, so I'm going to go back there. I don't recommend applying the paint on your sponge like I am doing now. Just put it on a um, disposable palette or something like that and then tap your sponge in the paint instead. It's much better. Do as I say, don't do as I do. <laughs> so I'm going to keep adding some of this. I'm going to make it a little bit stronger. That doesn't mean that I'm adding more paint on the sponge, just through the stencil. Now let's see. Yes, yeah, so this works a lot better. It's giving me a really pretty texture that sort of matches the pattern in here a little bit. So I'm going to add it a bit more around the page. Okay, I'm happy with that so I'm going to dry this off and clean my stencil okay so this is dry and I'm really happy with this the only thing I don't like it's this dark area here that sort of stands out a little bit and it's not adding any interesting detail anyway so I'm going to cover it up with a little bit of this color we used earlier so I'm just going to do exactly the same I did before and just blend it in that's all I need nothing else I'm going to add a bit more so it doesn't look like I've got a, a patch there just make it look like it's on purpose of course and then I'm going to continue adding a little bit of this color again on the top just to blend in the stenciled areas a little and so they don't stand out too much. It's actually still a bit wet, so I should be a bit more careful. 
subtle but I'm really happy how this is turning out one thing that I really like as well is um, on some of the paper pieces that I cut out earlier I'll show you up close here I really like the white detail I've got here and under here and here it's a little bit hidden now but mostly in this area so I'd like to add a bit more of that on my page so what I'm going to do is go through again the stencil that I've got and then pick something you know that would give me a sort of similar um, effect it's not gonna be the same but what I mean is stenciling some white paint through something that is quite um, intricate I guess <laughs> it'll make more sense when I do it you'll see Added a little bit of uh, this white sort of thin texture as I mentioned and um, you saw me removing some of the paint in areas it was because there's a little section of the stencil where the opening was quite big and I didn't get the subtle texture like I wanted so when that happened I just removed uh, removed it with my fingers or with baby wipe so now this is almost dry I'm gonna give it a quick blast And <clears throat> one more thing I want to do is actually use this stencil, which is awesome. I really love it. And again, it's one of my brand new ones. Um, so I just want to add, I want to use it, but not make it like big blobs on my page because that will just ruin it. So I'm going to use one of my all time favorites, which is gold paint. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't used my gold paint. Um, so now is probably the time. I'm going to be a little bit messy with it um, and just put it again on my finger and just rub it in um, uh, basically through the opening of the stencil and just make little circles here and there. And because it's a gold metallic, it's very see-through. So I'm going to get some of the texture and the pattern without overpowering the design on my page here. Move my stencil here accidentally so that's probably a sign that I should move along what I'm going to do is blot some of the paint where I don't want it to stand out too much again using the baby wipe and like I said I want it a little bit messy so I can sort of spread some of this paint from the baby wipe onto some of the other section of my page and leave a subtle metallic uh, finish there and I'm going to repeat this process. So obviously when you're applying paint this way from your finger directly onto the stencil, um, you're guaranteed not to get a neat effect. <laughs> Did I need to say that out loud? I know it sounds very obvious, but I just wanted to state it anyway. So that's why we're getting big blobs and that's the effect that I want. Well, not big blobs, like I said, subtle blobs, but a little bit messy. So here we go, part two, and I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to blot some of this excess paint and spread it in other areas. 
areas instead. I can't speak now. That means I should be finishing this tutorial very quickly. <laughs> A bit more in this area here. And I think I'm going to call it done. Now, some people will look at this as an unfinished page. They are going to say that it's a background, you know, it needs something, a quote, a uh, focal point, something basically. And that's totally fine. You can do that. You are completely allowed to do whatever you like in your journal. Uh, if, you, if you feel that it's unfinished for you, then add something until you are happy with your page. But for me, coming from a sort of abstract art background, this is beautiful as it is. I don't feel the need to add anything else to it to distract or to detract, sorry, from what I've created. I just love it as it is. You don't need, I've said this before in other videos, but you don't need um, a quote or a character or a face or something. You, you can, obviously, it's beautiful. It'll make your page even more um interesting but you don't need to you can just enjoy what you've created here as it is and leave it that way why not <laughs> okay guys i'm happy with this i'm really really happy with this so again that was inspired and uh, by daphne's diary magazine this was issue number eight and i just love what's in there and i'll be sure to do other tutorials with other bits and pieces from in there definitely and i'm going to give you a close-up so you can see how pretty it is now just a little bit closer here so as you can see it is abstract art and, but there is still texture and beautiful colors to look at and subtle interest look at this can you see how beautiful this gold is looking now Yes, it is a little bit messy and blobby, but it does contrast with the sort of intricate texture from the background. So um, that's why I'm loving this. Now, I hope that it's inspired you and then uh, that you can, you can obviously use these techniques in, um, in any way that you like with different uh, bits of paper from other magazines, from anything and just create something and if you do get inspired by this video and you follow the tutorial along be sure to show me a picture of what you created from it in the private support group on Facebook I'll put a link in the description so uh, hopefully I will see you there and while I'm waiting for a little sunshine to reappear I'm sending you lots of love from Australia guys see you soon bye for now